Okay, hello everybody. Look at that. It's like the bad hair show. That's lockdown, that is. Three months or something without a haircut. Anyway, how are you doing? Welcome to Tom Voyage. So in today's video, I wanted to do uh, another pizza cook. This time we're gonna cook a deep dish pizza, a Chicago style deep dish pizza. We're gonna be using the Kamado Joe, and we're gonna be using this. It's the uh, Kamado Joe deep pan pizza bowl. And the recipe we're using is out of this book. I highly recommend this book actually, if you don't already have it. It's a really good book, I've learned a lot and there's still lots to uh, learn from it that I haven't tried yet. So let's get started anyway. Today we're gonna cook this on the Kamado Joe. Uh, let's get it set up. Um, so I'm gonna use two of these heat deflectors, put them in there and uh, then set the pan with the pizza on top. So we're going to leave the Kamado now to come up to temperature. We're going to aim for about 200 degrees centigrade because we want this to bake like um, more of an oven than, um, than like the hot pizza oven at 500 degrees like we usually do. So while that's heating up, let's go inside and get the pizza ready. So the dough that we're using for this pizza is a little different than normal because it's got butter and lard and cornmeal in it. The dough needs about 24 hours to prove, so I made this batch last night um, and didn't film it, but I will leave the uh, recipe in the description below. Okay, so unfortunately we've uh, lost the light a little bit, but no worries, I've got my um, filming light here so we can keep going. The Kamado's heated up a little bit too much, it's gone over 200 what we wanted, it's gone to about 250, um, but it'll be okay, we're just gonna leave it on for a shorter amount of time. Right, look at this beast, let's get her on. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes now and um, we're going to flip it 180 degrees just so it cooks evenly and then leave it for another 12 minutes. Okay, it's been uh, about another 15 minutes and um, so we're going to give it a check and see where we are. Okay, so that's nowhere near done. I think we're gonna leave it for another 15 minutes and check back. Okay, 
We're back now after uh, about one hour this has been on. Um, it took a lot longer than I first expected actually and um, I guess that's why we make these videos you know so we can learn the process as we go along. So the crust is starting to go brown nicely. Now it's time to add the tomato on the top and in the recipe it said use ricotta on the top but I haven't got any ricotta so I'm just going to use mozzarella. Right, so let's close her up and come back in another 10 minutes when uh, that tomato should be nicely warmed up and the cheese should have melted. Time's up, so an hour and 10 minutes in total. Let's uh, see how she looks. Right, don't know how this is gonna work, hopefully. Won't be so hot that we'll feel it through these gloves. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Um, it looks good actually, it's come away from the sides here, which hopefully means it's going to be nice and easy to take out. Oh, thank God for that. I was a bit scared. Okay, so let's take a look at the underneath and... Oh, no. Oh, no, it's absolutely burned underneath. Look at that. Oh, what a shame. Oh, no. So, I think we'll call that one a bit of a fail. The pizza crust on the bottom was completely burned and um, I guess that's due to the fact that A, I left it on too long and B, on the Kamado, all the heat's coming from the bottom so it's really just attacking the underneath of that pan. At first of all, I thought, well, it's a waste of a video. I'm not gonna publish this now. But then, on second thoughts, this channel's really more about us learning together I'm by no means a pizza pro, I've had no professional training, it's purely just a hobby that I enjoy cooking outdoors on things like unis and kamados and you know any sort of barbecue. And maybe by making this video you guys can learn something and avoid making the same mistakes that we made in this instance. Either that or you can just have a laugh at me messing up a pizza. To be honest though, the pizza was still edible. We just took the uh, crust off the bottom, the burned bit, and all the top layers were absolutely fine so it didn't go to waste. I mean my plan for next time is first of all to just cook it less I mean maybe 20 or 30 minutes rather than an hour would have been fine cook it at a lower temperature and maybe rotate the pan more times throughout the cook but that's why we do these videos it's a process of learning making mistakes and changing what we did wrong so we can get it right next time if you did enjoy the video, I'd really like it if you would hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And if you have any more questions about anything that you've seen in this video, please leave me a comment below. Thanks.